That's good. Okay, Xavier Brown. Abraham Lincoln High School. Thank you. Let me set the scene. The smell of boring made its mark in the hallway, charging through the ranks of drowsy teens tasked with standardization with such viciousness you can swear you don't know what freedom smelled like anymore. The sound, the sound of feet being shuffled and apologies as awkward teens are bumping into each other. I smile at everyone I see. Cracking off jokes faster than a big black cat firecracker bunch lighting up the air with lightheartedness. But through incredible persistence and careful inspection, you start to pick up on the tiny discrepancies. Where you can now clearly see the alternate image. Clearly see what you believe to be the tears behind their eyes. Years and years of teardrops forming, forming out of the dreams that never will. Teardrops floating on the surface of tragedy. Eyes that once sparkled vibrantly, now lie broken and cracked, long collapsed into dark alleys cornered and trapped under the tremendous pressure of agony. Like a blind man, you start to pick up on the darkness in their lives, feeling every indent, scar, and imperfection on the mask of happiness. You learn. You learn of the boy who is only the class clown because he thinks if he puts himself far enough out there and they don't like him, he can take it all back as a joke. You learn of the girl who is making straight A's because that's what her father would have wanted if he were still alive. I l we put a lens over ourselves to make people see what we want them to. So when I look in this room and I see all of you smiling or whatever, all we're seeing is kaleidoscopes colliding on the face made of masks, all based on insecurity. <laughs>